Hello and welcome to another wild camp video. I've come out for a local camp tonight in Exmoor to make the most of what was supposed to be a sunny evening. The cloud has undeniably come in now, which wasn't forecast. It was meant to be a really hot and clear evening, but I'll keep my fingers crossed for a nice sunny sunrise and a nice quiet camp. I'm camping in a spot I found on a walk in this area recently. It's right by the edge of the cliffs, so it has a completely uninterrupted view out to sea and across over to Wales. And the views here are in general nice and expansive with no noise nearby. So without further ado, let's get down to this campsite. And we are here. I'll spin you around. Here it is, this little ledge here. So you can see it's nice and close to the edge for big uninterrupted views, but the angle is actually not vertical. It's sloped off a little bit and it doesn't look as though it's in too much danger of slipping away in the night with me on top of it. So, lovely protected sheltered spot. Views directly over to Wales. That's South Wales there. We've got Barry just over the end here, if anyone knows. Barry Island, which is a, a famous or infamous holiday destination in the UK. So I'm going to get the tent out and get myself set up now. I'm in the Nature Hike Vic 1 tonight, and I've also brought two new pieces of kit. One is my little Flex Tail Gear Tiny Pump X. You might have seen I previously bought the Tiny Pump, which doesn't have the built-in lantern. So I bought the Tiny Pump X, which has a little LED lantern. So I can now ditch my fairly sizable, fairly heavy lantern and just have the, the one item that serves to be a pump and a light. And the other item I'll be trying out tonight is the Cumulus 250 quilt. I am going to release a separate video where I give my first impressions of the quilt after using it tonight, but you'll see it throughout this video, and I hope it'll be warm enough tonight because the temperature shouldn't be below 15 degrees Celsius, so it's a pretty good night to give it a try out. Let's get this tent pitched. Somehow it's already 5 to 8 in the evening, so I'm going to get all my equipment unpacked and set up in the tent, and then I better get some food going. And I've also treated myself to a brew dog, so food and beer coming up soon. Just a quick safety point here, you can see I'm pitched very close to the edge. It's only about six feet out of my door and then I'll be dropping down the edge there. And this guy line is a perfect place to trip. So if I trip here, I could very easily go flying over the edge. As much as I don't really like tents without their guy lines out, I could unpeg this and ravel it back up again. But I think what I'll do is just bring it round here, bring it right out of the way. So even if I trip over it there, I'm just going to fall on my face somewhere over here and not go all the way over the edge. This is one of those moments, I think, where if you can almost predict something happening, it's worth reacting to it rather than waiting until it's just a, a case of chance. So because I could see that that was a potential trip hazard, I've just swung this guy line right out of the way, pegged it over here, and then it's still doing a bit of a job, even though there's not much wind tonight, but it means that I'm not going to come a cropper if I go out for a pee in the middle of the night. So here's my diddy little pump. If I press and hold, I get three different stages of brightness from that lantern, but it's also a pump. So it's time to get my mat inflated and get my new quilt set up. Now that I've got my mat inflated, I can get out the most exciting piece of new kit is my tiny Cumulus 250 quilt. I think this will save me down to 10 degrees Celsius, so it's a really good night to try it out. And in my haste to get out of the door hurrying away from work, I forgot to bring any really warm clothing, so um, it'll be an extra good test of it.
That is one good dinner time view. I'm using the MSR wind burner stove as usual. And tonight I've got Wayfarer's spicy sausage pasta, which I've had before and I really like. Uh, and I'm topping that up with a Bombay bad boy pot noodle. I didn't bring a pudding tonight. I wasn't meant to be walking far anyway. Uh, this isn't actually my intended spot for tonight. I was meant to be camping a bit further down the coast and inland. Um, I was planning on camping by river, so I haven't actually brought that much water with me tonight, but it should be enough. But um, because I left work late, traffic was really bad, so I just pulled in earlier than I meant to. And um, once again, I have an amazing plan B, which is probably better than my plan A, much like on my last camp in Dartmoor. And while that's warming up, time for a beer. You can't ask for much better than that, can you? I'm really starting to enjoy these summer mornings where you can just sit out on your nice comfy sleeping mat and just drink in these morning views with sunshine. It's just gone 6am. It's already about 15 or 16 degrees Celsius and it's due to get up to about 25 or above today. There's a bit of a, a wind coming in off the sea. So I'm just wrapped up in my cumulus quilt. You can probably see I've closed up the foot box. So it's keeping me warm. And I'm gonna have some nice warm porridge. With breakfast out of the way, now it's just time to pack up the tent. And now I'll get it back in the rucksack and I can move out. Just as I was getting packed up then, I heard a noise overhead. It sounded like someone was flying a kite quite close to me. Looked up and there was a peregrine falcon chasing a bird through the sky. And they have a pretty sizeable wingspan. It must be a good two or three feet. And they have been recorded at 
over 240 miles an hour in a dive so when that bird comes down and suddenly changes direction chasing its prey you really hear that cutting through the air I've never heard that before and I've just seen some falcons flying around while I was packing up so um, yeah that was a really impressive sight this morning I'm standing exactly where my tent was so I've left no trace as usual I'd just like to take this moment to thank anyone for watching and subscribing. I've had some really great comments over the last few months since I started my channel. It means a lot. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.